Hello, welcome to this tutorial. Today we'll create this piece here in FreeCAD. And to create this piece, we'll use these dimensions here in this page. So first here we'll create a new file and here we'll change to Power Design Workbench. Create body and here we we'll go to these additive filters and we we'll select additive cylinder. And here in this page we can see that the diameter of this cylinder is 200 okay so here the radius will be 100 and the part of this cylinder is 10 we see this value so we come back to this model and we change here to 100 and then click ok press on and now the next step is to do this fillet We have to do this fillet. This fillet has a value of 2 millimeters. Okay. And then we'll do this pocket here. So here you can see that the distance between the center of these two cycles is 170. Okay. And here we have a range of 15 for the fillet of this pocket here. And the diameter of this cycle is 15. So come back to this model and first we select this edge here and select this fillet tool. We change the range to 2 millimeters and click OK. Now we select this face here and create new sketch. Here go to sketch geometers and we select this slot tool and draw this slot here. Now select this cycle tool and draw this cycle. OK. And now let's give dimension to this sketch. So first we select this tool here. Click in this cycle and change the diameter to 15. Here change to 15 too. Okay, and now we select this horizontal distance tool. Select this center point and this origin point. And here we'll say, we'll say that the distance is 85 so close this sketch here go to pocket tool okay in this model we see that the value of the pocket must be 3 because here we have 10 and here 7 so here would be okay click okay and now select select this face here and select this pocket tool here you change the type to triangle and then click ok yes and now we go to this combo view and here we select model and now this pocket and this pocket and we go to polar pattern tool here we change only the number of occurrence to four and now click ok yes And next you will create a new sketch, click in this icon, click the, create the new sketch in XY plane. Okay, switch to section view, go to sketch geometers and here select this rounded rectangle tool and draw this rectangle. Now select this symmetry constraint tool, constraint these two points to this origin point, and now select this equal constraint and select this line and now this line okay and now let's see the dimension for this sketch so here we see that we have this dimension here 100 and the radius is 12 so we'll come back to this model and here we we use this tool to constrain the radius of these arc to 12 okay and now select this horizontal distance tool click in this point and this point and you change this length to 100 and then close this sketch now select this pad tool and here we set the length of the pad to 
100 is value here click ok so okay next we go to this pad operation click in this arrow select this sketch and click on mouse and go to this copy option and here we select only this sketch click ok and now click in this icon to pass this sketch in this document now select this sketch and drag this sketch into this body space bar to make this sketch visible and you can see this sketch here so now we double click in this sketch and switch to section view and here we will change the dimension of this sketch here to to create this pocket here so we see this dimension here 9 and here we see a radius of 5 so we come back to this model and double click in this dimension and here we change to 5 and here to this dimension and then close this sketch now select this pocket tool and here set to go check this option reverse it and you see this now okay and next we pass the same sketch in this document select this sketch and drag this sketch into this body space bar to make this sketch visible and now right click on mouse and go to attachment editor click in this button and select this face here and now select this option and you can see that the sketch is now attached to the center of this face and now click ok double click in this sketch and here we will change these dimensions to to create this part here so the length here is 47 okay and and the value of the fillet will be 8 so we come back here and here we change to 8 and then to and we change this dimension to 47 and then close this sketch go to this pad tool okay and here we check this option reverse it so here we see a length of 50 for the pad so we change here to this dimension and then click ok next we pass again this sketch drag this sketch into this body spacebar and and click on mouse and go to this option attachment editor click in this button and now select this face and click in this option here and then click ok double click in this sketch and and here we change these dimensions here to to create this part here so we have this dimension 74 and and here we have a radius of 10 so here we change to 10 and we change this dimension here to 74 and then close this sketch okay go to this pad tool here we change the length to 5 you can see here the value of the pad is 5 ok and now switch to this to this view ok click ok and now we click in this button again and pass the sketch here drag the sketch into this body ok space bar and click on the mouse and go to attachment editor and here click in this button select this face click in this option and click ok 
double clicking the sketch here switch to section view and now what we have to do here is to change these dimensions here to create these this pocket here so here we have this dimension and we have a radius of five so here we change to five and here to 36 and then close the sketch okay is that okay and here we select the sketch and go to this pocket tool okay select this option here and here in the type we set up to face and then we select this face here and now we can see this pocket okay click ok and now we select this face here and go to this wall tool so here you can see these four walls here what we have to do is to change the, the diameter of the cycles to 8 so resize this window and here we change this diameter to 8 and then click ok okay and now we we'll do some few some chamfer operations as you can see in this in this page so the value of this chamfer operation is two millimeters so here we select this edge go to this chamfer tool we change the size to two millimeters and then click in this button this a button and we add this this edge and this edge and click here okay and you can see that this part is finished thank you for watching this video